You take the blue pill, you wake up in your bed, you believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill and you stay in Wonderland. I'll show you how deep the rabbit hole really goes. Remember, all I'm offering you is the truth. Liftoff will start in T minus 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. All right, hey, 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 it's your girl, Yon Slay, and today I am reviewing The Matrix Resurrection. Okay, I literally just finished watching the movie, and I think I'm going to keep my glasses on so that I can stay in character. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I thought that the film was amazing. Sidebar, if you hate um what are those things called spoilers this is totally not the video for you because i'm definitely going to be dropping some spoilers <laughs> you have to wear these glasses when you're talking about the matrix so like i said if you're if you're not into spoilers you should stop watching because i'm definitely going to be dropping some spoilers so first things first i love the artistry of the film because they definitely definitely took us back to film one but it didn't feel the same way it was like a completely different vibe completely different vibe but still the same story over and over again and it definitely the matrix films all make you think they all really make you sit down and wonder like, really, what is reality? Is any of this, is anything actually even real? Is anything that we're experiencing? What the F is going on kind of thing? So I definitely appreciated the artistry of it. First of all, the different angles, the camera angles are just like that. Everything is just so like that in this film. I will say though, sometimes Neo gets on my nerves. I know that it is at the root a love story and some sci-fi you know all over the place but um i was just kind of annoyed with neo because he's he's just so ready and willing to risk the entire society's livelihood for what he wants to accomplish um but i did like how trinity or tiffany ended up being like the one who's flying now and she's she's super super duper free but it just it just makes you wonder like what is really going on because even in like traditional life and thing there's a there's enough similarities between this movie and the real world and like neo said there goes that word again real <laughs> but you know there's so many similarities between this and that so who's really to say what's going on so it definitely did that but i was annoyed and i'm hoping that there's going to be another one because i by the time i thought the movie actually was finally like starting it was over and i'm not saying like i didn't i didn't know that the whole movie was going to be about saving trinity you know that kind of bummed me out but i loved it i loved it i just want there to be another one because my question is what happens now you know at least at least they could have given given us like 30 minutes of life after they got back together that's what gets on my nerves about movies they always show you like how they save and how they come back together but they never show you what happens after that what what do they do what do they do do they go on and just keep freeing people's minds or do what do they do to the matrix and they're like you know now we have creativity we can do whatever we want but what what happens next <laughs> you know i want i demand a recount i demand a recount i absolutely love the movie but now like the way it ended previously I was like, okay, that makes sense, in a sense, I guess. But now I'm like, okay, well now what happens? Now that they they spent the whole movie saving Trinity, basically, and reminding Neo who he was, and I guess that is the 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 movie. But what happens now? Like now that they, because they went up. First of all, first of all, it turns out turns out that the therapist was in on it the whole time 
And you know, I believe that stuff because a lot of times it's the people that that be telling you, trying to make you think you're crazy, the ones that tell you, oh, this and this and this and that, trying to keep you controlled. Those are the ones who are really working with this systematic oppression. It's just, it's, it's, it was a very great film, I must say. I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I was just like, geez, the whole thing is about saving this lady. <laughs> And because because I was wanting and granted, I am who I am, but I was hoping that after they got her, because I did want them to save Trinity at the end of the day, I absolutely did. I wanted them to get back together, but I also wanted to see what happens next. So I'm really hoping that there's going to be a follow up to this movie because it was super great, but I just felt like they there's now I have more questions than I had before. So I'm really hoping there's going to be another one. Um, but overall, I thought it was a really great film. I loved how they um, brought aspects from the the previous movies and the deja vu with the cat and the bell. Um, I loved how the machines and the humans came together and created the city Io. Um, I loved how it opened with like the same exact opening as the first one. So they did a very good job of like recreating that whole parallel universe kind of concept. And it kind of reminded me honestly of The Good Place in the sense it's a show. It reminded me of good The Good Place because they kept repeating the same stories over and over again. And in Good Place as well, they the demons separated um the two main characters the male and the female i can't remember their chitty and somebody else i forgot their names fully but oh elena something like that and they separated them and they were like in this hell loop where they were repeating basically they were in hell and then hell kept trying to make it look like they were in heaven long story short and so the lady kept figuring out like they were in hell and then they kept resetting it so they kept doing it over and over and over again so this is just a more scientific way of explaining the good place which makes me wonder why are there all these movies about these loops where people are in the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again so yeah that for me was like whoo this is interesting because there's a lot of films lately like that and Personally, personally, I have been questioning reality a lot lately because I've been discovering that most things that I thought I knew were lies. Um, and I don't really, at this point, I have been wondering like, well, what really is happening here? Like what is actually going on in this world? And then we have these movies and these shows and just like, it's a lot going on. But Overall, I thought it was really great. I love the camera angles, the, the pure artistry of it. I just want them to do another one. <laughs> or at least like, just just give me another 30 minutes or 15 minutes. Just tell me what happens, okay? Now that um, Neo and Trinity are back together and they have a second chance, what do they do with it? You know, movies never show you that part. It's always like, okay, the build up. But after they get together again, what happens next? What happens? Do they? Because the worst thing I could think of is that they end up in it again. And then um, years from now, there's another Matrix. And it's just the same thing over and over again. So does that happen? Or do they actually get to live their life? What what actually transpires? And then they hit us with a boom, boom, pow, wow, pow at the end. And like, you know, some people don't want to be freed. And that's the truth. Not everybody wants to hear the truth. Have you ever heard a truth that was so true that you got mad about it because you like, dang, why you, why are you reading me like that? And and you know, so there are some times that you'd be like, dang, I wish I just didn't know what was going on, or I wish I could put, go back and take the blue pill like that, um, like Cipher said in the first one, but yeah. <laughs> so it, it's just a very interesting the whole that I guess the dichotomy of the whole thing, just the entire. The entire Matrix series really just makes you think. And then I also really, really, really liked how they made the Matrix and Warner Brothers a part of the film. Like Warner Brothers is going to create this whether you're here or not. I liked, I liked that part. And I liked when the, the bots were basically saying, you know, um, 
this is what the matrix is. The matrix was this, the matrix. Was... So I just, I just appreciate that. Like that level of artistry is superb. So really the team behind the thought process and the, the concepts that they displayed were absolutely wonderful, I must say. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the entire film. I just wish that they had more. I just like, when it ended, I was just like, like literally a minute before it ended when they like ran up in the therapist's house, the analyst, I was like, there's no way this movie is over. I literally clicked it to prepare myself in case it was over so I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset. And then it was over. And then they're like, you know, he's like, you gave us a second chance. Okay, but what about me? You know, what about me? I want to see more. I demand a recount. <laughs> I just loved it so much that I was just hoping that it was going to keep going after that. But it, it didn't. It was over. And I guess it just... I guess they. it's for the whole point of like, what does happen next? I guess nobody really knows. Because has anyone ever even made it that far? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But I will say the Matrix definitely has a way of making you just wonder what is, what exactly is happening. And if your life is anything similar to mine, lately you've probably been like, what the f is going on? You know, <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> so, and you know me, I love... I love a little um, rabbit hole. Sometimes, sometimes it's like when you start going into those like conspiracy theories, like after after eight o'clock, and you end up on YouTube, and then you wake up again. It's like two a.m. and you've been like deep into YouTube conspiracies and all these kind of things, all these different gates and things. You know, all these different crazy conspiracies or whatever. You know, I'm definitely one of those people. So the Matrix is definitely one of uh, my kind of film because really like the one thing we know for sure as they say a wise a wise woman or man knows that they don't know anything at all because really who knows what's going on and um like i said the good place um good omens even the matrix like a lot of films are talking about basically the same thing they're just telling the same story over and over again so it just makes you wonder what is actually happening in our reality you know there goes that word again <laughs> I don't know, but what I do know is that it's getting pretty hot in this jacket, so uh, that might be all, folks. Oh, overall, though, I definitely, I give the film such high ratings. I thought it was amazing. I just wanted more, and I personally was a little upset that the whole film was about saving this woman because I just feel like they could have saved her earlier on in the film. And then we could see what happened next. Like, what did they do? That's my question. So please, whoever is watching this, if you're in charge of, of Matrix, like, just give us a 30-minute segment of what do they do next. Now that they're free, because we thought they was free before, and then they ended up right back in the Matrix. So what actually happens next? Maybe comment below, what do you guys think they do next? Like now that they have a second chance and they're, they're, they said they're rewriting things, they're doing things, but what? Like they literally, they left us on such a cliffhanger that I have to believe they're going to make another one because there's no way that they could leave us like that. They, they just, they were like, you know what? We're, we're going to change some things. We're going to rewrite some stuff and we're going to, we're going to be. But what does that mean? Are you gonna be creative? Like, what? Is, where are you gonna? What are they gonna fix? What are they gonna do? That's what I want to know. What? What are they gonna do next? What happens next? That's the the world may never know how many looks does it take to get the center of a tissy pop. Exactly. Like we, we we may never know. But I'm just hoping that they do another one because they did such a phenomenal job with this. I just really wanted to know what happens next. And yeah, I get it that it is a love story, but you know. You brought all this boom, pow action, and then you just left. You just, they just flew off, it, and far in the distance, they just took off. And so I'm just wondering, like, okay, now that you took off, like, what are you gonna do? What happens next? So, yeah. But overall, great film, very well done. I just wanted it to be another one because that was super great. Um, a lot of, you know stuff like the matrix always has um in terms of things that make you think but i hope that they do another one um i thought this film was great 
I might even be looking up like, are they gonna do a second part? <laughs> you know, like, do I have my phone over here? So we could look and see. Oh, it's right here. Let's see. Is the Matrix gonna have another one? Because there's no way that they can just leave us off like that. There's just no way. Cause they just flew off and like that was it. Wow, set up, Matrix 5 set up at the end. Wait, was that the fifth one or the, I thought that was the fourth movie. I feel like such a cool person with my glasses. I keep looking at myself, camera's over there. Let's see. I don't know. It said no, 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 going in the past. I don't know what that means, but Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. This thing, some site said that Matrix 5 will be set at the end of Matrix Resurrection. Yes! 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 Because there's just no way they could leave us like that. Yes! Now that I know there's another film, or it seemed like there's going to be another film, now I'm excited. Now I say that it was, everything was perfect. Because if they just left it like that, I would be PO'd. But if there's going to be another one, two thumbs up. I definitely think you guys should watch The Matrix. If you already watched The Matrix, comment below. Let me know what you thought about it. And also, <clears throat> let me know what pill you will take. That's my Morpheus voice. Will you take the blue pill or will you take the red pill? Or do you believe that choice is an illusion because you already know which pill you should take? Now, while you're also doing that, please click that like button down there below because that does help with the algorithm. If you have a choice, but choices are an illusion, so just go ahead and do it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. I think this was fun. I... <laughs> All right, I don't know why I keep talking. I think it's just because now I have this a costume on and I don't know what to do with myself because I love costumes. Pew! Pew, pew! Woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, I, I, this is my last thing. I um, didn't even realize that The Matrix, there was a new movie coming out honestly until yesterday because yesterday I decided to watch The Matrix the original ones and then I saw like oh shoot there's a new movie coming out so then I like literally watched all of them and so now I'm like Matrix now Pew! so you know I'm doing all these things well anyway have a great rest of your day and um I wish I looked up another quote so I could end it off with that but live your best life love yourself love yourself and um live creatively because it seems like that's the answer <laughs> live creatively and self-love my name's Jan Slay and I approve this message